Oh, yeah. Hello. Absolute beginners. That that was a, a smashing song. That were, were you actually asked to write the song for the movie, or did they just pick the song for it, or what? No, we was actually asked to write um, something specifically for it, and because it comes in a certain piece of the piece of the film, you know, a, a certain plot. Right. Did that actually <laughs> limit your abilities? Uh, Our abilities writers? are limited anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I they're, like, they're limitless, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I mean, if they give, if they give you certain guidelines to work, and it's not easy, is it? I mean, it's like no, it's Richard still got upstairs this morning writing a song with so many words, you know, six words. I think it's quite a good challenge, and it's quite a good discipline for, for a band and for a songwriter. Mm. So what, what are Style Council up to at the moment, then? Well, we've got a live LP coming out um, in early May. Oh, great. Accompanied with a, a live video as well. And um, well, then we're going to start on a proper, a proper LP. <laughs> <laughs> a studio, a real one. <laughs> so, so what do you do when you sort of organise an LP? I mean, do you just do it track by track, or, or do you actually make demos or what? We make demos. Uh, they're very loose. So sometimes, I mean, you get a better feel on the demo. Well, a few of our singles have been demos, really. Is I mean, that true? Some of the critics have said that as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have. They've just evolved out of demos, and they've been better than when you go back to do them again. You know. Well, why is that then? I suppose you catch a kind of spark, a sort of. Uh, when the initial idea is fresh. Mm. Well, you've been on tour with uh, Red Wedge for a little while. Is it, uh, a Style Council going to tour independently of that lot, or, or what? Yeah, we will be. Um, we'll be probably going out on the road again in around at September, October time. Oh, lovely. So, uh, yeah, we're going to take we're going to take a bit of a break just to, to to record, really. To get the old senses back together again, yeah. eh? Okay, we're going to knock your senses for six right now because it's time to pick out uh, bargains from last week. There's our top ten. Uh, Paul, you go first. We pose the question for you. You to me are everything. My favourite record. I love it the second time round. Uh, is at number five this week by The Real Thing. In what year did they have a hit with the same song? It was in fact 1976. Uh, delve in there and just pick a card out. Uh, top ten singles, all the hits and more. There from the charts for you. Uh, okay. And <coughs> who's won this one? The winner is. Uh, R Lang language. Yeah, you always get the difficult ones, don't you? Language, From Kent. Timothy. You've hey. got the correct answer then. Oh, I'm going down to Kent soon. Tomorrow. Uh, Monday, in fact. Okay, time to pick out a little store bargain. Mick, go on, it's your turn. Right. Have a delve in there. Pose the question for you. Uh, last Saturday the clocks went back to British summertime. Uh, what are the four main time zones in the United States of America? Uh, they're Pacific, Mountain, Central, and Eastern Time. I didn't know that. Right, it's a nice Pop one. jigsaw puzzle for you, by the way. With a little lamb on. Um, uh, uh, Mrs. S. Davison. Oops. It's nearly right, that clock. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Who have you got? <laughs> um, oh, I well, didn't know they were going to do that. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Mrs. S. Davison from Gospel Heads. Oh. Lovely. Give me that card. Nice little lamb, eh? Because we'll lose it otherwise. We've had many a guest. Uh, put it back. Have a little rootle, both of you, for a card in here, because we go for the Queen bargain. Uh, selection just of their just, LPs, just in fact. <laughs> yeah, the complete works. The complete works. Two lots of it. And we ask the question, when Prince Andrew gets married, who will be the third in line to the throne? Wow, we tried to stump you, really. It's exactly the same. Prince Harry, as he always will be. Uh, who have you got there? Um, only <clears> want one. So pick that one or that one. All right. You've got a... Uh... OK, it's that one. Who's it, go <laughs> who's it going to? Uh, an A. Mitchell from uh, Lan uh, Blackburn, Lancashire. A. Mitchell, OK. All those goodies on the way to you. Hey, thanks very much for coming in. You're going to stay around for a little while. Yes. Pop panel coming up in a little bit later on. But you've also got uh, a bargain, haven't you, this morning? So oh. what, what have you got for people at home down there? Well, there's uh, loads of tackle in here. There's um, the live video, a book. What's this? The jumper with the uh, uh, style council embroidered on it and... Uh, Hold yeah. on, folks. LP and the single. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? That's quite oh, a big post, then. Uh, wallpaper in the room or something. <laughs> yeah. And you've got albums in there as well? Yeah. And, oh, uh, and a video. And a video and a uh, jumper. And... Oh, great. And what are you getting out of your pocket? And two, two chocolates in <laughs> there. <laughs> Paddly toy, rotisserie. <laughs> Stop being stupid. Give us a question. Paul, we need a question. Um, what major band was I in before the Style Council? Amazing also cue that. <laughs> <laughs> what major band was Paul in before he joined the Style Council? Answers on a postcard, usual address, Superstore, BBC Television, London, W12, HQT. I can see he's got more chocolate, so I'm going to have them. In the meantime, we've got... Oh, that's very good. Paul Weller. Um, a bit too poppy for me, not really my type of music. And likewise for the video, I thought it was quite a... 
bunch of the kiddies it's really. Quite bright. Yeah, we liked it. You need it. How would you give another five? Uh, one again. One for you. Sorry, sorry to be so negative. Oh, Steep stuff, eh? Hey? Double letters, double letters. Okay, Paul. Um, well, that effect was used years ago with Bohemian Rhapsody or a similar effect, so I wasn't particularly impressed by it. And uh, there isn't a song there, as Richard uh, rightly pointed out, so I won't give any marks to that one. No marks at all. For, well, the first of the morning there for Paul.